Hello all. Um, the idea of this video is to show um, how it works, the first mission uh, that is available, which is the default one, which is the Falcon 9. Um, so, and this mission it's available here if you press the load and um, of the saved games you have um, Carbon Space Program 1.10 demo based mission and if you load this you should have exactly um, this look uh, after the load. So then to start the mission, in this case we want uh, to go in orbit of Earth, we just press 0, 3 and um, then we'll see the, um, the resume, so uh, by default we will do an orbit um, for 19 degrees, which is this outer planet means, uh, this is the, the mass 530 tons. Uh, this is the final orbit uh, that we are aiming today for this mission, which is 300 kilometers. Uh, and this will be the max Q uh, uh, that we will face um, during the takeoff. So we will just press enter. So um, release tower clamp was done. Strong back retracted and ignition. And let's go. So about here we have tower cleared, um, we have here the percentage above uh, max Q, uh, we also have the, the distance uh, to the landing zones, uh, so basically it's the distance that we will need to travel again back um, to the landing site if it is the case. Uh, so right now we are with throttle 100%, uh, this is the max thrust. Um, that we have in all engines, this guy's in the 9 Marlin engines. So now we are throttling back um, in order to reduce uh, the effects of the sound waves uh, and then after passing uh, the max Q we are get back to 100% to face the, the sonic boom which is now. So now the vehicle is supersonic. So supersonic is when we are above our uh, Mach number 1.2 okay so right now our altitude you can see here of course and uh, the speed in kilometers per hour this is international um, speed uh, that we should use and we also can compare this with videos on YouTube from uh, real SpaceX missions so uh, this is the values that we would have in a standard uh, atmosphere um, and this is the values that the Carbon Space Program have and the atmosphere itself. So right now what is the status? Uh, so we are doing the, the deltas uh, to, the, to the turn. Good. That's it, and now we are at this maximum. I will keep here at the maximum. And um, at first Miko, uh, we will disconnect the engine to do the stage, okay? Which is now here. Okay, now the stage two will burn again. Start the burning at any moment. Here we go. Now we can just switch vessels and watch here the um, the stage one. So stage one now will go towards to the um, to the vessel. So basically, is doing uh, a retro burn in direction to the drone ship. Okay, so imagine that drone ship is here. Okay, you can see that in the map. So and basically, as you can see. What is doing? It's reducing that. Uh, then we switch back to here because uh, we want to check at uh, 160 kilometers. We have our fairings going away. It's very nice always to check that. Then we will go back to the um, stage one. Okay, I will keep both um, consoles open in order to check uh, the values of both and we will advance a little bit 
uh, please note that I am advancing um, with physics, okay, in order to allow uh, stage two to do its normal burn. And we can see here that the burn is um, absolutely nominal. I mean, uh, periapsis is reducing. We have the correct apoapsis values. Um, we are decreasing here. Um, the time to reach the apoapsis, which is um, the moment in time we will, where we will increment uh, the periapsis, uh, and that is essential to do um, an orbit um, which will burn less fuel. So we are going down in that value, and that it's nice. Okay, so the burn is done. And now we will just finalize the. Um, oops, let's go back. As you can see, uh, stage two it's still burning here, okay, and it's doing this. So it's doing the the correction to enter in orbit. So it will need to gain this speed. And um, this is the eccentricity uh, of the um, circumference of orbit circumference that we will have and of course the value that we are aiming it's zero so eccentricity zero it means um, a perfect a circumference orbit circumference around uh, earth in this case um, so this is still the, the velocity that we need to gain in order to do that and at the same time we can check the altitude of stage one and Okay, at this altitude we are okay. We can continue to check stage two because we didn't enter yet in the atmosphere, which is at 140 uh, kilograms. So basically, we are waiting um, to do the re-entry burn in, in stage one. Coming back here in stage two, as we can see, uh, it's still increasing. So let's try to go to stage 2 okay and as you can see it will do the last burn now and that's it we are there okay actually very nice this eccentric cc uh, was really nice, so we have an almost perfect circumference, uh, which is quite good. So, coming back now to stage one. Um, here, at this phase, the most important value that we should care it are these two. So, the first one is the horizontal distance um, that we will be, in, in this moment, um, away uh, from the drone ship without any correction. So without any correction, we would land at 2.3 uh, kilometers away from the drone ship. And this is actually the distance, horizontal distance uh, to the drone ship. So we are going towards uh, the drone ship in terms of horizontal velocity. Now we are doing the burn. This burn actually it's very complex because for one hand we want to decrease the, the vertical speed but that will increase the distance um, that we will have uh, to drone ship. So we need to compensate that, and that's it. And now we are uh, just at 185 meters um, to the drone ship. So this is normal. Um, now we, uh, what we are doing here is trying to reduce the speed in several different angles in order to aerodynamically guide the the stage one to the drone ship okay and um, and this is being done at any moment by the way drone ship will appear here in the water okay so i i increase the distance because by default it will just appear at uh, uh, two kilometers or something like that so i increased to around 10 um, okay at least my computer um, probably you don't see, but uh, uh, we are having 60 frames per second in, in all the video. And I'm just having six, 60 because I am forcing um, 
to just have 60 otherwise I could have um, 140 150 uh, frames per second um, but for the sake of the video this is the um, uh, the best tuning that we can do for this so as you can see uh, over there we have that uh, red uh, mark uh, which will point um, to the position where we if we don't have any correction where the rocket uh, would learn would land so of course at this moment uh, it it would land away and we can also check here that uh, how many meters we are away from the center and you can see we are almost in the center 0, 3, 0, 2 then a little bit more and that's it so let's check it vertically and bingo so we are there and uh, that's it then we can close this and um, wait a little bit for the stabilization and then we can go to the tracking station and we can go back to our stage 2 so so this is always the stage 2 the the one that has the original name of the craft and then of course the stage 1 has exactly the same name but with the word um, probe okay which means that it's a part of the original ship so if we go to the stage 2 so which is now loading uh, the craft environment and so on so here we are so uh, do you want to reset mission um, okay in this case I didn't have done the code for the rest of the mission I mean in terms of position the satellite exactly where the position where you want because that is very dependent of the mission that uh, we are doing uh, so in this case we can just press Ctrl+C, c for example and abort uh, the codes and then we can do whatever we want we can uh, just connect the, um, the solar panels and do whatever we want um, so later I will also put uh, the rest of the codes um, where we will put the stage 2 in the d-orbit um, maneuver in order to enter in the be smashed let's say in the atmosphere so uh, I hope that uh, you had enjoyed so uh, this is um, what we have right now available with the current version and um, and what we have for the default uh, Falcon 9 so later on I will um, be back uh, with another video uh, for another ships okay so I hope that uh, you had enjoyed and please feel free to do uh, your questions and for sure I'll, I'll try to to answer all of them see you